And then the accident reconstruction that that woman did is really the best case scenario, right? It's the best case scenario that, you know, something like that could have happened. But even in her reconstruction, right? And here, I'm going to show it one more time for people that showed up late. I'm not showed up late, but people that are just here in case you didn't see it. Because this is really cool, this chick, what she does here. All right, here we go. Going back. Let's check it out again. You guys ready? Here we go. This is best case scenario, okay? John O'Keefe was hit by Karen Reed's car. It caused him to be thrown through the air, tumbling in such a way that when he hit the ground, he hit his head causing serious injury. They showed some evidence of a broken taillight and some personal items that John's found at the scene. Looking at a model to illustrate the injuries, we heard in testimony that John sustained injuries to his arm, the eyes, and the back of his head. Let's look at the injuries to the arm. As a vehicle backs into John, we can see how the taillight would strike the side of his arm, breaking into sharp pieces and cutting him. Moving to this dent indicated in red, it's believed that this is where the glass John was holding hit the vehicle and shattered. Here's a photo of the prosecution's belief that this dent represents where the glass had hit the vehicle. Continuing with the prosecution's theory, John is hit and thrown into the air. 